Does this deserve to be finished? Hello, welcome to this week's video. Um, an old practice piece from a demo with quite a nice back on it. Um, needs a little bit of restoration and tender loving care, don't we all? Um, and then I think a bit of fluting. Right, a little bit of explanation um, for something that's going to happen later in the video, which I didn't film very well when I was making the footage for this. I'm going to reset the router in... Oh, thought someone was coming in. I'm going to reset the router in the jig and it's going to be at two different heights. So I put a bit of tape on here and you can see pencil line there, another one there and another one there. So I lined up the top of the block with the pencil line for one of the positions and then lined it up with the second line for a lower position. So I'm going to make a series of cuts above centre and then a series of cuts below centre. And on this video, the first time I've had a go at doing that, I repositioned the cutter. Um, I've done a second one subsequently, which will appear in a different video. And instead of resetting the cutter, I just cut both sides at the same time. So I cut the left hand side above centre and then I moved the jig across and cut the right hand side at above centre. In effect, cutting it below centre on the left hand side, if that makes any sense. Enjoy. I did. Phew, first lot of holes done. Not without some problems. Uh, let's come on to this one and have a look at those problems. So here it was catching too much. The last three here were the first ones that were a bit too shallow. Quite a bit of tear out there. Let's move that out of the way and so where it was cutting and rubbing before I moved the um, bush back the bushing or readjusted that or adjusted that I've got a few bits slightly uneven to be honest I'd like them to be, have been a bit closer but anyway let's uh, Let's put this onto the next position on the tape that I marked earlier and see what mess we're left with. Poor little bit of sycamore. It really doesn't deserve this. Right, so I've just chamfered a bit of uh, my wooden bushing here because that bushing was sticking out and stopping me cutting to the same depth at the top of the cut and the bottom of the cut. So that might be an improvement, it might not. We'll have to see how it goes along, but you know, this is pretty much experimental anyway. If it works better, then I can come back and recut these other ones. But what I'm probably doing is probably it's probably I've probably gone a bit too deep with these cuts. 
because um, it's obliterating a lot of that cut. Maybe I'll have to keep cutting and cutting and cutting. So something has happened with my uh, indexing that I made a bit of a mistake somewhere. Because the cuts here really should have been in, gone back into that slot and gone back into that slot. So how could that have happened? Maybe Maybe when I disengage this arm at one point. All right, well, that's given me some idea of how it works. It's a shame about this bit though. I'm off for a cup of tea and a cogitation. Let that dry a bit. Gonna have a go with some of this shifters paint from Vallejo, gold, yellow, burnt orange it means I'm even going to have to clean an airbrush out and you know how much I hate doing that coming out but it's really quite fine that's better I want to make sure I'm catching in the end of the well, actually, they're really reeds, not flutes. And that's it. We've used it all up. Three drops. Don't like that. Right, so very little needed. One, two, three for five drops. There we go, we've got a bit of blue coming out now.
So five drops lasts a long time. Didn't mean to do that. Meant to do that. There we go. What is the missing colour? I think I'm going to stop there. Yeah. Feels weird. Yes, went a little too far and I've come into the fluting. What a fool. Oh well, this is definitely experimental, this one. And flawed. But uh, I've got to keep feeding the media machine. I don't know why I'm taking so much time over something I'm not going to keep. Well, I'm pro well, I will keep it. Will I keep it? Or well, for all its errors, mistakes, brutish, ugly bits. The jewelry's out. And here it is in all its glory and errors. I've uh, grown rather fond of this since filming it um, a couple of weeks ago. I did put a picture up on Facebook, a little detail of it. What that picture didn't capture was the changing nature of the paint. So you can see green and as I tilt it down, it goes a sort of brown, dark colour. Um, the blue in here, I think, really was needed. I couldn't have just left it with the shape changing paint. Shape changing paint? Colour shift paint. Um, yeah, and a bit of a tease with the red. You know what I'm like. Um, you can still basic, barely discern the swirl of white in there, which when it was a swirl of white looked very unattractive, I thought but actually add something as a little bit of background, that faint hint of a little spiral um, behind the other colours. Um, is this a keeper? It's a keeper for me because it's the first one I've done. It's not one I would ever sell because I didn't do any sanding. It's very rough to the touch um, and the cutting is a bit uneven in some places. My wife actually quite likes that bit. I think it might be useful to always have a little bit of imperfection in everything I do. Yes, I think that's true. <laughs> true of everything I've done. Um, you can 
probably see different facets here where it's cut a bit deeper on one of the cuts and one of the passes and it's left little ridges behind. If I could have got those ridges accurate on, an, on, on every cut that might have been quite interesting. Um, but as a first go I'm pretty pleased with it. Perhaps the curve in the rim made it a bit more of a difficult shape to work on. Um, but I get a lot of pleasure walking past the windowsill, watching this shift in colour as I walk towards it and then walk away. There you go, one last look at that colour shift. Brown, green, brown, green. It could be like that. Is it a blue dress or a gold dress bit of nonsense? I think I've said enough. Until next time, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm. See, I couldn't resist having another go.